Well, Dan, as you said, those numbers are close across the state, but here on the central coast, Bernie Sanders appears to be gaining momentum. Thank you, Monterey. Bernie Sanders has held two huge rallies on the central coast, and it's paying off. He's got people enthusiastic. He's got people willing to support him, even though he's the underdog right now. And it's very exciting to watch. Local political experts are calling Monterey and Santa Cruz Bernie country, and the regional poll supports this. It looks like Bernie Sanders will do very well on the central coast in San Francisco Bay. Hillary Clinton's probably going to win in L.A. County and the Central Valley. Ed Kilgore is a columnist for New York Magazine. He says Bernie's momentum forced Clinton to cut her New Jersey trip short and return to California. Well, she's hunting where the ducks are. California has 475 pledged delegates at stake next Tuesday. Plus, Bernie Sanders isn't really contesting New Jersey. That's a state that Hillary Clinton is almost certain to win. Hello, Salinas! But along oh, California's so central coast, her win is far from certain, and it has the Democratic frontrunner buying up airtime on local television. She understands that our country can't reach its potential unless we all do. While losing the central coast likely won't cost her the nomination, losing California will have an impact on her momentum. It's psychologically not good. She'll get a lot of bad press. We just found out this afternoon that Bernie Sanders is also going to be buying advertisement time on the Central Coast, and that's in response to Senator, or Secretary Clinton spending a lot of money here as well. Dan? Caitlin, thank you. A uh, spokesperson for the Monterey County Democrats is not ready to make any prediction. They do have signs up for both candidates. Their representatives say the primary isn't over until everybody here has voted.